And it's recording. Okay. I'm laying here, and we were talking. We were watching the trailer for the new Man of Steel movie, and we got talking about Superman Returns and how much it sucked and how much better it could have been. <clears throat> and it got me uh, thinking about a theory that I had thought of when Superman Returns came out, and I was sitting here telling Russell and Chris. It is Chris, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I was telling them, like, oh, I should have filmed that. So I'm going to tell the story again. But um, when it came out, I had this, like, realization, I should say. But I never said anything because, like, uh, you know, nobody ever... I thought I was just overlooking something or whatever until I saw a guy named Kevin Smith on YouTube talk about the same thing. And then I didn't feel stupid because Kevin Smith's a real big into comic books. For the, those of you who don't know, Kevin Smith is Silent Bob from, like, Jane Silent Bob. He directed, like, Clerks, Clerks 2, Chasing Amy, all those good movies. Okay, so Superman Returns, the, the one with Brandon Routh that was made in, like, 2006. The timeline for that is to take place directly after Superman 1 and 2 from the movies Christopher Reeves did. It was not ever to acknowledge Superman 3 and 4 because those movies sucked. Alright, so we'll go to Superman 2, the Christopher Reeves, and that movie, alright, he's, you know, all in love with Lois, they go to Niagara Falls for something, and um, Lois tricks him into, you know, catching her or something, like, I can't remember what the situation was, but he reveals himself as Superman to her, that Clark Kent and Superman are the same person, so she loves this. So they go to the Fortress of Solitude in the Antarctic and they have sex. You don't get to see it, but you get the you get the gist that they just had sex because they're laying there on an ice bed, you know, and they just boned. So you know, later in the movie, General Zod and Feor and this other big tall dude that I, can't, I never can't remember his name, they all fight Superman and all this shit. Well, Superman beats them, and at the end of the movie, uh, Superman develops this weird power that he never has before in the comics. Where he kisses somebody and they forget whatever. So he, uh, Clark kisses Lois in the Daily Planet, which is, well, kisses her on the lips in the Daily Planet. That just made it sound like I was like <laughs> slang word, and, like, her <laughs> vajayjay or something. So, and she forgets. She doesn't remember that Clark is Superman. So, let's say, uh, Superman Returns is next because it takes place. Okay. Superman returns. Clark comes back, or Superman comes back from where he thought Krypton was to see if it was still around. Long story short, he goes back to Daily Planet, and Lois has got this five, six year old kid. And uh, she's like, Oh, this is my fiance, Richard White. You know, it's Perry's nephew, and all this. And uh, they're like, Oh, good. You know, nice to meet you. Well, all throughout the movie, you know, uh, Clark does pretty much nothing to Superman except lift shit. And uh, that's about it. And he, like, creepily stares at Lois through the doors and all this stuff. So at the end of the movie, um, or towards the end of the movie, Lois is being captive by Lex Luthor's guys. And the guy with the uh, clown tattoo on the back of his head. Well, Lois tries to do something, and he gets pissed off, so he's going to kill Lois, right? And the kid's down there, he had been playing piano. Well, all of a sudden, you think Lois is going to get killed, and this damn piano flies and kills this guy, you know? And Lois is like, oh, good, a piano just flew out of nowhere and killed this dude. I'm okay. She looks over and her kid's standing there like this. Her kid just threw this uh, piano. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. At this point, she knows the kid is Superman's kid. But she had been kissed and forgot that she had sex with Superman. So my question was, why did Lois not think, when did Superman rape me? And when did I have sex with Superman? When did he impregnate me with a super baby? She doesn't remember. She can't. It's not like she just, you know, they're totally ignoring the point. And then, but the thing is, she was pregnant, obviously. I mean, she had this kid. So if she thought the kid was this Richard White guy's, so that means, um, you know, it was, I'm going to say a month in between the time she slept with uh, Superman and Rich and uh, I can't even think of his name. Richard uh, White. White. So that means one, Lois is a whore. 
And then two, she's she doesn't make Superman wear condoms. <laughs> so here's the thing, like at the end of the movie, she go you know, Clark has lifted the or Superman's lifted this big island or whatever, thrown it in space and he passes out and he's in the hospital. Well she takes his kid in there, you know, and she bends over and she whispers in his ear something. You don't hear it, but you definitely don't think it's I know you raped me. And now I have a super baby. So she gives the instance that it's his kid. So the kid runs up and gives a, a Superman a kiss. And then the kid goes home. And then he somehow awakens and creepily creeps in the kid's room. And then he tells him something that his dad told him. So I, they never address the situation that Lois never realizes that Clark raped her with super speed. It's like I told Russell and Chris a minute ago. Even if Superman's faster than a speeding bullet, I think Lois would know that Superman, like, flew in real quick, got the poon, even for, like, half a second, I think a girl would notice. Like, if somebody ran up to me and grabbed my penis, even for half a second, I would notice. I don't care if it is Superman. Somebody was like, I'd notice. I just, I felt that, so... That is the definitive uh, screw-up in Superman Returns. And the new Man of Steel movie is going to be ten times better. But I'm telling you right now, if Superman has a kid at the end of this movie, I'm going to be pissed off. Because apparently Superman is a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes around banging random women. And another thing that didn't make sense to me, okay, a Kryptonian... Okay, has sex with a Krypton. Now, in Krypton, they're just technically human because they don't have the yellow sun. All right, so it's just baby, you know, a human having a baby. But Superman has all this, you know, yellow sun in him, and he's all jacked up on it. And you know, Lois is pregnant with this kid. Don't you think that kid would have like punched through her, you know, vagina at some <laughs> point, like eight months, and been like, <laughs> and kicked through her damn stomach or something? So I don't know. But that was my theory on. Um, how Superman is a rapist. <laughs>